think we're live, so hey, how are you guys out there in YouTube world? We are here for another Watercolor Wednesday. It's been an interesting weather here in California. Um, we had some snow, and we had some rain. Right now, there is serious wind going on, so... Please keep me in prayer for this um, today because I just, I'm keeping uh, just good thoughts that everything's going to go through. You guys are joining in already. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, we already got uh, a comment here from Frosty Girl. Hello. So Frosty Girl's been uh, on here and leaving awesome comments. So, Frosty Girl's even been getting on those uh, shorts, which is super cool. Uh, one thing I want to remind you is, if you don't know about them yet, is Mondays have been the podcast interview days. So, uh, I think I got to get maybe like 10 or 2 dozen before it goes over to the podcast world. So... Right now, we're uploading all these videos every Monday. We've had Carrie Waller. We've had Francisco Fontana. We had, who else? Uh, Angela Barbie. And this week was Barbara Tapp. Next week is George Palitis. Uh, I love George Palitis. He's like Mr. GQ of watercolor. All right, we got some more comments. We got some more people in here. We got Susan. Hello, Susan from Canada. I'm super stoked you are here. Uh, Susan was also at Watercolor Live when I did Essentials Day at Watercolor Live. So I'm glad to have you here too. And uh, Frosty Girl says, take care down there. Thank you so much. And we've got Deb. Howdy. How do you do? Uh, I'm doing really good. It's been a super good day. And check this out. We got a package. I'm going to be opening that really soon from Escoda. This is like a big package. So I'm like super stoked. Uh, usually like the packages are like smaller when they're coming all the way from Barcelona. And thank you so much for joining here on Watercolor Wednesday. So... Like I was saying, we had snow. We were up towards the LA area for my daughter's uh, derby meet. She came out from Utah. And they took, they, they just killed it. Um, it was raining and cold. We were outside, but we had a cover thing. Um, if you didn't see it yet, I did a little quick short video just of me doing some gouache painting. Um, I didn't post the final painting that I did for her. Uh, I just uh, wanted to surprise her. I stayed up late one night and got up super early to finish a cool painting of her as a derby girl at the meet. So I'll post that soon. I haven't quite edited all the video. So, but yeah, we've got some, just a couple announcements. I'm super stoked about today's painting. I was just over in Laguna Beach where it was amazingly gorgeous. I went over to the Pirate Tower, which I have that painting right here, and I'm gonna show you Pirate Tower. If you don't know about it, it's a must go see. So workshops, we got some workshops coming up. Mainly these are physical ones right now. Um, so we got the San Diego Watercolor Society that's here in my town. Uh, it's a workshop in March, so if you want to come out to San Diego, the 18th and the 19th, I'll be doing a weekend workshop, and it's on dappled lighting. So we will hit those shadows and make some amazing paintings. Can you guys hear that? Whoa, super crazy wind. Uh, we got Cheap Joe's art stuff. This is a physical, also in-person show. Uh, so it's like a five-day workshop. So we get to kick it together for five days over in North Carolina in Boone. Super cool place. That is in May 15th. 
to the 19th, you can go to their website or at my website. There's a link. Excuse me. We have Idaho. That's actually this month. Um, on the 30th, I'll be flying up to Idaho. 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 Be going. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so sorry. All right. Pulled together, gay real. Idaho. We'll be doing a workshop outside. Uh, we'll be going. There's there's a whole group of people in Idaho that plan air and people that do also studio. So I do both, and I want to bring those groups together. All right, and then what else do we got? Oh, uh, we have art on 30th. So the classes here have been doing so well at the art school. We had first to start with a Wednesday morning, and it just kept filling up. So they gave me the bigger class for Tuesday nights. That's been filling up with a waiting list, and now people are want to keep painting with me. So we've got now an intermediate class. So. The Tuesday night class goes from 6 to 9, so it's a 3 hours with me. It's a 5 week course, and we do these little bite sizes, and we, we cover everything for intro Tuesday nights, that starts on the 14th of March. We've got the intro to Wednesday, that's during the day, people that probably don't have a job, um, or work at night, so that's from 10.30 to 1.30. That starts on the 15th, and the intermediate class is at night from 6 to 9. Hang in there, I'm almost done. We're going to go check out this stuff in the box here in a second from Escoda. Uh, and then the intermediate class on Thursday nights from 6 to 9. That's if you've already taken a class from me, and you want to come join and work with me some more. That class is almost full. I think there's only a few spots left. And of course, always on my website, you can sign up for some Zoom one-on-ones, or if you're in the area, we go out painting on a not so windy day. All right, let's get into this box. Oh my gosh, so check out this lovely box. So this came all the way from Barcelona, Spain. There's the, boom, Barcelona. And here we go, drum roll please. So you gotta put some drum roll emojis. Totally getting. Oh, shut up. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Look at this. Woo! All right, let's look. I think, oh my goodness. I got me some clothes, folks. Look at this. Ooh, we got a shirt. We got a shirt, look at that. Escoda in the house and uh, we got we got a logo on the front and uh, who doesn't need a nice good looking black shirt right so I think we're getting really close folks to uh, being an ambassador Escoda whoops my laptop just tried it Take a big dump and fall. Uh, one second. Alright, so we're going to see if we can set this over here. This is a new thing. It worked. Oh my gosh. Okay. We almost. Okay, back. Alright, what else is in here? What? Check this out. Have I showed you guys these yet? These right here? Yeah. Check that out. I have to look over here because now the monitor's over there. Did I show you these? Let me know in the comments. So. Dun, dun, dun. So, it holds a paintbrush. And I really like these. We're hoping to get these in the States. Right now they're not. So on the back, Right here is a little thing you pull off, and it's got a little sticky. Okay, so I pull that little sticky off right there. This sticks. I've been sticking them on, like, the wall. And after I'm done washing a brush, I can hold my brush on it. Do you see that? And if you don't get it perfect on there, this little guy actually 
moves. You hear that? So I can like rotate these. Pretty cool. So yeah. So I did not buy this stuff. This stuff was sent to me from Escoda. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so there's a nice flyer in here. And I guess when you buy some stuff from them, there's a really nice thank you letter. All right. And here we go. Drum roll, please. We've got some new perlas. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So we have a number 10 and a number 12. So, I like using, well, first of all, let's finish. There's a, a 22, which I never have used a 22. That's why I'm doing some big full sheets. And there's an 18. So, I'm super stoked about working with these larger perlas. But what I love about the perlas is those points. See those points? You want a brush, a nice round brush that has a good point, especially if you're new to watercolor because you're already used to using a pen, right? You're already used to a pen with a nice point. So if you got a really nice brush with a good point, and then what I like about this brush is um, I use the side of these like so much. So that 12... I'm able to use just a little bit more of the side of the 12. I guess I should take it out of the package, right? Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas in March. March 1st is when we're recording this, so if you're catching this on the replay, you know. Here we go. So, look at those. Just gorgeous. And I love... I love the balance of this brush. Someone was asking me today, like, does it feel comfortable holding it here? And it very much does. The weight just really works nice. So these are by Escoda. The style of brush is called Perla. And they're a synthetic brush. And so some of you know, because you've been with me for a while, and we've got some other cool comments here. Do, do, do. Uh, we've got wonderful, woohoo, from Susan, Frosty Girl. Woohoo! And jealous, oh, come on, no way! And, oh yeah, I was sharing about the little thing, cute. And Frosty Girl, oh, so cool. So, yeah, uh, some swag. We got some, a nice cool shirt. But I just wanted to show you this brush, too. Um, and you can get these on Amazon. Um, you can also get these at Artists and Craftsmen. You can get them at Blick, but with Blick, it's a little tricky. You have to get it off the website. They don't really carry them in the store. But look at that. Holy macro. Just gorgeous. So, yeah, I'll be breaking in these puppies. And, um, all right. So, let me move the camera so that we can see my painting area. Give me just one second. Because I'm so stoked for today's. You guys been asking for stuff for breach, uh, beaches. All right, camera. Give me one second. Everything's okay. We're just switching our camera angle so you don't have to look up my nose and you don't have to uh, see my ceiling. All right. So the camera I use, someone asked the other day, and no, I don't mind sharing at all. It's by Elgato. All right. And the reason why I like it because it is right up there with today's modern 
times. And what we got here from Frosty Groove? The 22. Can't wait to see that in action. I know, right? I'm going to have to figure out how to demo a full sheet for you. For sure. So I just kind of just, uh, I'm trying a different background. I think this looks a little nicer than what I've shown you in the past. But so I set this crazy place, right? So check out this painting. So it's kind of a little light right now. Hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Let's just fix our lighting just a titch. You know, if you've been here before, we've had to just kind of work with this. There we go. Boom. So this is Pirate's Tower. And you can go over to Pirate's Tire ta Tower. <laughs> you can go over there. Uh, it's in Laguna. Laguna Beach. And it's on Victoria... Victoria Beach. All right. So for today, let's go ahead and put this bad boy in there. And I gotta move it around. Dun, dun, dun. That's not gonna work. So let's just flip it. Here we go. All right. So today's painting is actually a nice little vertical. And I put these little clips here on the side, like that. So this easel is an Ericsson easel. You could get this with Cheap Joe's. And I'm very grateful to Eric that gave me this easel. Because I needed something to take with me for my upcoming Italy trip. Alright. So what are we painting today? This bad boy right here. So... I went ahead and put in these lines. Now, you can do these lines as well. And on your phone, you just gotta go into the editing on your just regular iPhone. And you can crop it however you want. So, let me grab my handy dandy pencil. Alright. And... Do, do, do. What I'm going to do is just set this off to the side. The nice thing about this easel is I don't have to use tape to tape down my paper. And I'm using a different paper today. Um, I believe this is Fabiano Artistico paper. And um, yeah, it's this. That's just the standard cold press so it's got a little bit of tooth all right and as you see on the Ericsson easel there is already some markers okay I apologize I've been a little lazy putting the other little stickers on um, but when you get it you just put on those little decals all right what we got jared and what's jared saying i have the 22 i use it or an 18 most of what i do lately i've been using more squirrel though but the perlas are my favorite for all around also good to draw thin contour and block in shapes thank you so much for sharing that Jared is pretty cool. If you're not following Jared, you um, you should. Jared's got uh, some really cool work that he does. So I am actually pretty stoked that Jared's here. And uh, thank you. I appreciate you. All right. So right away, I'm going to bring in this thirds line right in here. Okay, and I know you might not see that right now because the lighting is changing, like, but I've got my horizon right here, friends. Okay, and then this line is going to come down like so, 
And then right here, right about here is where that rock kind of comes in, like so. And it kind of looks like a face. It's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't have to be like a face, but I, I'm trying to think of what it looks like to just kind of explain. And it comes down like that. All right. And then right over this way, right about here, is another stone rock. But you know what I want? I think I want to do. I want to make that rock area come down just a titch more. Okay? Kind of like. And. We can make adjustments because I'm going to show you why. So if I bring this here, like that, like this, and then right here, I'm going to bring in this nice little ledge kind of right there. And then over here, up in this quadrant, We've got our guy that is walking his little pooch. All right. And so I'm looking at this space. Now I've got to work this so that it just, it's, it works compositionally. Okay. So I'm going to put this rock here and that rock's going to come down a little bit. It's going to kick back this rock as this thing that comes down like that and there's this kind of recedes back and then there's so much shadow I don't see much there there's a nice little cast shadow there okay and then we've got this lip here there's a jetty okay and that jetty kind of shoots out right about there like that Okay, so all this is going to be nice and dark. Okay, we got some super good contrast, right? And this is coming in here. We've got our jetty. There's a little bit of water right in there. And we're going to bring this up just a titch more. So look at the distance here versus here. Uh, that matters, okay? It's good to have a baby shape, a mama shape, and a big papa shape, okay? All right, this is going to come down like so. And then this is here. These are some just like directional lines that are going to kind of point to my star, my show, and his little sidekick, okay? And then this, quite lovely. All right, so right in here is about where my other thirds is, and we've got this dude. Let's put his shoulders maybe like here, like so, and a head, like so, like this, and he was carrying some goodies. And we got this. He's got like the cute little dog. This leg is planted firmly down. And it's right underneath his center of gravity, alright? So we got a nice sense of center of gravity. Because we want to lift this next leg. So we got a thigh. We got a calf muscle. The calf muscle on the outer area kind of is a little higher this foot is planted down like that and okay, pump this over just a titch like this like so boom he's gonna be a little pretty dark because well he's back 
this leg is coming up like so this foot is coming down all right so we're getting just like a basic kind of idea of how this works this is not the final okay this is just building and then the painting is where I really bring it home hopefully we got a shadow there we go and we've got our little pup here and uh, it's a poodle <laughs> Let's uh, pump up this arm and come over like that. And then that wind is kicking up kind of crazy. I am looking for, give me one second, I'll be right back. I've just got to grab my eraser. Alright, thank you so much for your patience. So I'm going to take this kneaded eraser. This is what happens when you leave it. Oh my gosh, that, can you guys hear the wind? Oh my gosh, it's like gnarly. So I'm going to lighten this up. Alright. Like so, I'm just like rolling this, just like Play-Doh. Just get your inner child out, have a good time. Alright. Now we want to get some paint. And uh, some brushes. And uh, luckily I got some water here. Dun dun. My backpack. So I just came from teaching. So these are the brushes that I have with me right now. These are the brushes that I take with me to teach in class. So we got these. Rocking and a rolling, so I've got one squirrel and three perlas. And this is so worn out, it's maybe an 18. This is a 10 and a 12, and then I think this is a 14. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in to our sky. And I apologize um, with the laptop <laughs> doing its thing just today. Um, I have to keep the palette out of the our scene. I apologize. Next week I will plan just a little bit better for you. So we've got a nice little gray here. So this is just what I've got. I can bring it in. So I've got some beautiful looking grays with some blues. Ultramarine blue, which is one of my faves because I love lapis, just like my ring. All right, we've got this cloud-like sky. And I've got to put it in there just in a way that it just breathes. And then uh, we're going to come across. When you do this, this has to be nice and straight. And I 
if it helps, this is what you can do, friends. You can lay this just like that. And we bring this right on down. I'm kind of going like an airplane, bringing it in like that. See this little section here? I could take a little tissue and just pick up that bead. All right. All right, I got some nice cloud coverage. And at this time of the day, what we found out that the lighting outside plays with my aperture on our Elgato. So let's fix this temperature. No, that's too warm. And shutter speed, maybe. Oh, there we go. We'll try that for a little bit, okay? Dun, dun, dun. So I hope you guys are here. I haven't heard any comments for a minute, so I hope my internet is working with the wind that's going on. This next section has got to be a value change. All right, so right here, I've gone thicker paint, right? And I've got a nice straight edge. There's not much going out there in this part of the ocean scene today. Uh, and you don't have to always have like boats and stuff out there. This uh, area can be very simple. Simple is more, friends. We've got this section over here. Coming down and like that. And we've got this area coming towards the star of our show and his faithful friend. Like that. I'm gonna get some more paint. Hunt, oh, Susan says, looking good. Thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate you and your kindness. So we're getting a little bit of nice little broken edges over in there. And let's go ahead and play with right in here. So what I want to do is bring that little section this way and I'm going to play around with doing some dots and dashes because we've got this wave here like that. All right, we've got a little bit of a jetty. To cheat a little bit, I'm going to grab this color right here. And that color, my friends, is gray titanium. So I need this gray titanium mixed in with my blue. And just a little bit of brown for this jetty right here. And it's going to come in. We'll leave a little bit of light where his shoulders are. This comes right across. I could paint right through the figure because I'm going to go so nice and thick. Okay. So this is where I'm going to make the value change just a little bit darker. See that? Boom. Gets a little bit darker and thicker going over here. This could pop up just a titch and drop us over like so. Okay? You can you guys can totally do this. I totally have faith in you. 
So let's go ahead and tackle our rock right here. So the first color I want to do is the color that it probably is, which is goethite and some quinacridone deep gold. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring that all in like this. So I'm doing a, a nice little underpainting. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to hop in here with one of my favorite colors. Does anyone know what that color is? It's kind of got a purpley... Our lighting has changed for a third time. <laughs> dun dun dun! All right, so let's try to contrast. Nope. Let's try our. Let's go here. Changing. There we go. Now we've lightened it back up again. All right, there we go. So we are uh, cooling off our mountain. I put, first put in this wonderful complementary color to it, which was a nice purple, which is called Moon Glow. All right, so now I've mixed in some Moon Glow with this other wonderful color, which is one of my favorite, ultramarine blue. All right, so I'm letting gravity, gravity is pulling all of this down right into here. Frosty Girl, Moon Glow. Yeah, do you have it? Have you tried it? Or did you know, cause you, you've been You've been here before. Look at that! It's kind of like a eye socket with like kind of a nose kind of like shape. Then we've got this thing here. This kind of reminds me of a uh, mummy. Uh, <laughs> the movie. Who here is like movie buffs? Are there some people here today that. Uh, they know some good movies out there. Uh, it's weird now though, because I used to know what every movie that was coming out, and now I just don't know unless it's on Amazon. And so it's been a hot minute since I've actually been to the theater. How about you guys? I mean, the reason why I bring up movies is because Movies was a huge part of my uh, raise, raising as a um, like a youth. I worked in a movie theater when I was a kid. I can never... What's this? Frosty Girl, sure do. Stills over what does... Nice. That's super funny about the moon glow. I can never remember movies, which is a good because I get to watch them again and again. So funny. I'm 100% with Hunter. That's so funny. Yeah, you guys can like watch like movies over and over. That's funny. And it's like the first time you're watching it. So one of my favorite colors that I'm going to use is called Goethite. So if you plan on doing any beach stuff anytime soon, goethite is a fancy word for brown ochre. And here we go with some goethites. We've got this first little section here. Gonna bring that right up in there. Swoop, coming that way. Now I need to add some of this like turquoise and just kind of bring in that turquoise that's mixed in. 
with the Goethites bringing in this fun little um, directional guy here and some nice little deep. So in order to push that back, I've got to put some nice layers in here. So I'm going to go back to the Goethite and mix me up a nice light batch here. Boom. That wind is totally tripping me out. So I can go ahead and paint right through his legs because that's nice and light. All right. So this scene was actually this photo I took, I took yesterday. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything yet, but uh, there's something really cool that's happening in the month of March, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure I won't get in trouble for saying it. But I am very honored to be La Papa's Artist of the Month. If you're not familiar with La Papa, it's called Laguna Plain Air Painters. So you know Plain Air Painting, right? Well. There's a group in Laguna Beach, and that's where this is, that um, has wonderful shows throughout the year, and they made me their artist of the month, and I think that's a pretty big honor. So I went up to Laguna Beach yesterday to drop off some paintings for the show. I gotta keep my little dog right here. And then I stopped off over at the beach. And that's how this scene came about. Alright, so we're going to get in here. And with some goethite. Some more ultramarine blue. A little bit of yellow ochre. And let's put this in. Let me just bump that up because my name's in the way. Deb says congratulations. Frosty girl, thank you so much. Thank you, Hunter. And thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, right on. Going to Saturday for the first time. You're going to go plein air painting? Is that what you're referring to, Deb? You're going to go out plein air painting? That's great. I look forward to hearing about it. And let's critique the painting that you do. No, there's no uh, <laughs> worries. Just get out there and paint. And then let me see it. So Deb is one of my uh, students. She lives on the other side of the States. And we get together on Zooms. Alright, we've got a wonderful beach and sand. And we've got this little section. He's come here and a nice little crossover. Boom. Um, and here's one fun thing I like to do. Uh, people freak out, but I just come like this. And I do this because I don't want to treat my painting anything special. And I grab this brush here. And I'm going to go in here and get some lavender and go. While I've got that lavender there, I'm going to go in here and grab some moon glow. that. Now, what I've learned is not to tap A on your knuckles <laughs> like this. That hurts. I've learned not to do it on the ferrule because it dents it. So I just go right here on the wood. Now, if you want some really cool splatters, you can get one of those uh, like, uh, what are those things that oil painters use? 
It's like a spatula. The, the knife thing. <laughs> I should know the name of this darn... Dun, dun, dun. Palette knife! That's what I'm looking for. So now I can just dab and connect some of these dots just for a little bit of playing. So this paper, I haven't used this paper for a hot minute. So when you get used to a few other papers, um, they're just different. And it's not that you forgot how to paint. It's simply that um, papers act just a little different. We've got a nice, nice... Hey, there's 12 of you up in here. Who is watching and not telling us who's in here? I know we got Frosty Girl in the house. We got Susan and Deb and there was someone else. Dun, dun, dun. There was Jared. There's a few of you that are sneaking in here and not saying hello. Be sure you say hi. No sneakers. Unless you're driving. Please be safe. Look at this right here. This is going to bring home this section here. We've got a nice dark area right in here okay and this comes nice lovely shadow I'm gonna go just thicker paint here my friends I want some of this paint that is almost like acrylic okay where Yes, it is not. It is not transparent. It is very opaque right now. Look at that shadow. Do we have this little section here? That's coming in. Right there. We've got a one nice chunk of dark. This chunk of dark I don't know what that is, unless it's like an under section of the jetty. But it's all this stuff is pointing to the star of our show. Okay, and it's very important. It's very important to have this. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, when you have salt and pepper on your steak. It just makes it that more tasty and interesting to look at. We've got that nice little under cover. And we've got to bring it over here to where this mountain, not mountain, but, you know, this big rock. I was telling my students today, I used to go to this one big rock. And it was called Morro Bay Rock. I know a few of you know where Morro Bay Rock is because you visit me painting here on Wednesdays. And there's actually a couple of you that live over by Morro Bay. I grew up seeing these rocks. And so it kind of comes a little bit just natural because I remember seeing them just like so much that I can kind of do it as like a feeler. So we've got this rock here and then there's this underneath part, right? Dun dun dun. What do we got here? Oh, now those colors will work for my local beach outside of Seattle. A hundred percent gray. <laughs> For sure. Right on. And yes. Palette knife, Susan. You're right. And Deb too. Palette knife. 
So the palette knife actually has like kind of like some springy metal and when you tap on it, it actually does a little bit different spontaneousness, which is quite lovely. We've got this section. There's a couple of different parts of this other little rock here. And what I'm doing is I'm painting the darker parts and the first parts with that lovely texture. What I'm doing is I'm now, those weren't whites, they were midtones. So that's what we've got to ask ourselves. What is midtone and what is our section that is dark? And so there's a lot of underpainting going on here. If you're familiar with oil painting, I did a couple of them when I was younger because uh, my parents didn't know, you know, where to put me after school. <laughs> and I wasn't always on the wrestling team or the kickboxing team that came later. So look at that. We've got some cool mountain. Or, jeez, darn it. Got some cool rock. <laughs> All right, I'm just laughing at myself. If you can't laugh at yourself, then so let's go ahead and just play with that little section. Boom! That's quite fun. It almost looks like Magneto. All right, let's go ahead and work on our person. Let's bring this painting home, friends. And uh, we've already, well, technically eight minutes we're supposed to be done here. And so I appreciate last week you guys let me go longer. And today I don't want to like keep you. So let's put in this head. His head, he had kind of like a cool hairdo. So it's not going to just be just simple and round. But I am going to leave some light on the back of his shoulder. Next time when you see someone kind of walking away from you, take a picture of them. And you're gonna see when someone's walking away, there's gonna be a little bit of light on the back there. All right, so do you see where I, do you see how I'm painting using the side of my brush? See that? I'm not always painting like a pencil, but there's areas that I can paint a little bit quicker. Okay. And then I can, some people use a flat brush and that's great too. All right. So I'm digging that. And, um, what else are we saying here, friends? Dun, dun, dun. I'm an oil painter, but a newbie at watercolor. Thanks for sharing. I did not, um, know that. All right. And then we've got his arm. He's got a nice shoulders. And... I'm gonna come in there with this right here. This is his sleeve. That's a little exaggerated. I apologize, I just bumped the camera. Silly me. Let's exaggerate um, him kind of walking here. That leg's coming up. Oh, that wind is crazy, friends. He's got some cool shorts on, but like I said, he's so, so much light is coming from the front of him. We don't really see it much. And I don't know if you noticed, but there was already some weird stuff right here. And it kind of just already, I just didn't worry too much. This kind of looks like birds 
in the distance. But yeah, I guess there was something on my paper. And so, no sweating it. Just paint, just have a good time. Choose your battles. And we've got a leg coming this way. And we've got this leg planted, right? But I just gave him skinny jeans, so I don't know if I want him wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> Our skinny jean shorts. I guess that's. So we got a nice little calf muscle that's on the side here. And I don't worry too much about having um, anything looking like strict because. He's in, in movement here. Alright, we've got some foot action right here. So it's slightly turned, so we do see a foot kind of planted. Boom, like that. This one is here, coming like so. Alright, so we're not going to get too fussy about that. The poodle is white, but I feel like if I go too white, it's not going to show up. So I'm going to keep that similar color. I'm going to add just a little bit of white to what I was already using here. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to be using... Here's the color I was using, now we're using that for the dog. Okay? I want these guys to look like they're, uh, they're together. Okay? Boom. Let's uh, just... Nice, there it is. I got, that leg had to look like it's moving. It was bugging me. This little dude is here and I'm just gonna look at shapes okay so he's such a cutie and he kind of was turning around turning kind of back I think there was something that caught his attention And uh, he's a little dog. So there's the top of the dog here. But there was that nice light. Dogs can be tricky. Don't try going for four legs. Just trust me. Move the dog so that the dog can just be in a three-quarter view. Uh, that way... It just doesn't, it looks like he's going to be moving with the owner. We're going to do a shadow here. Coming up off this, and the shadow is not perfect because neither is our sand. Does that make sense? So the sand is uneven. So actually... That's going to be uneven. Alright. We are almost done. We got a minute. No, I need probably like five more minutes. We're going to go in here. Bring in these little swoopties. Like that. You know, if those are too perfect, get in here with your fingernail. I'm always getting in trouble with having paint under my fingernail. Just get yourself one of those little scrub brushes. I'm going to add just a little a bit of some Sleeping Beauty turquoise into that mix. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Goethite in that mix. See that? I don't mix these like that they're even. I keep them like has variety of goodness. Here we go. 
We've got some little dots and dashes. Boom. I've got to get you looking, bringing you over here. Like that. These are areas of the sand that is nice and uneven. These are suggested lines to get you to go right over. This is probably our walkway right here, yeah? Nice. Obviously, we've got a part of the beach where people are walking and leaving parts of the sand. Let's go ahead and get some nice dark right in here because this area is where our friend lifeguard drives his truck up and down. So there's this area here. I'm going to have a slope coming this way because I want to connect this here. That is going to then create this little Z. And just for fun there, I just did a nice little um, X marks the spot just a little too much. So I'm just going to soften that. And we are done, my friends. Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> He's missing his hand. This guy has got a club. <laughs> we got to give him a hand, friends. Give him a hand. And I'm not asking for applause. I'm saying literally... Our dude needs a hand. And it's kind of like a little bit nicer shape that's moving towards the body. It's a wrist that's thin and a hand right there. Like so. And just like almost hanging there. There's a little bit of too much white. There it comes. So I've got to take care of some of that white. There's too much white there. There we go. All right. Nice. For fun, I can do this little satchel with some turquoise. Not seeing it on camera. Dun, dun, dun. Well, shucks. We're gonna have to. We're not really seeing it on camera, but that's okay. And let's just give our little dog here a cute little handkerchief around his neck. He didn't have one, but I'm gonna give him one anyways. And we've got a leash. Like that. All right. I can't quite sign it right now because I just put that last chunk there. But I'm loving this scene. We've got a nice rock. We've got some water. We've got a beach. Let's pull it out of the Erickson frame. And let's look at those white edges. And so, wow, you guys are just now hopping on here. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate, uh, Frosty Girl and Susan. Uh, what? Who? We got someone that just decided to say hello. And let's just pump this up just a little bit more. And you guys can see a little bit more of the image right about there. It's a little off-centered. There we go. So there you have it. If anything, I might do uh, another little wash or some tiny um, little splatter just like right here. 
but I'm happy with this. And uh, what do we got here? Do do do. We got Adam. Hi, Gabriel. Lovely painting. What is the frame? I've never seen someone paint on the frame. Uh, so I'm super stoked that you asked. So it's the Ericsson frame. If you go to Cheap Joe's and you look under um, plain air frames, the Ericsson uh, easel plain air frame, uh, you can pick these up at Cheap Joe's art supply or art stuff. Great demo. I'm taking a lot away from this. Thank you so much, Frosty Girl. And a uh, fist bump back at you. And uh, let's see, we've got here Susan. Love the shadows in the rock. Great work. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Susan. Um, this is just tilted just a little bit. For some reason, this corner is skewed. Frosty Girl. Oh no, adding Golothite turquoise to my wish list, lol. Oh my gosh. Yes, they. if you plan on doing some beach or deserty kind of goodness, you want those two colors. And Adam Single, thank you so much. Well, I appreciate you guys and I'm grateful. Thanks again for joining me. And uh, what we also, uh, I'm very grateful to Escoda right over here. That if you missed it, uh, watch the replay. I opened up this super cool package from Escoda that came today in the mail. So thank you so much for Escoda, for the swag and all the wonderful things that I can keep these wonderful videos for everybody. Uh, enjoying watercolor. Do, do, do. Well, have a wonderful week. I hope you guys um, keep painting. And what do we got here? Deb says, thanks much. Wonderful scene. Great painting. Thank you, Deb. I appreciate you. Alright, have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Uh, look forward to Monday's interview with George Paulites. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy uh, the interview. And thank you so much, Susan. Take care. All right. Bye. See you guys. Take care. Be safe out there.